Billy, this is Sierra, and our pup Jetty. This is our home. Her name is Adrenaline. We decided normal lifestyle isn't quite right for us, so we've been living an unconventional but fulfilling life of challenge and adventure. Be sure to subscribe below and hop on board. So as you guys have seen, we've been working really, really hard on this truck camper and we've been working pretty much nonstop. So we got an invite to do something really, really fun by my friend Jeremy who owns the kiteboarding school, New Wave Kiteboarding that I used to teach at. Jeremy's a big fisherman, so they have been going out tuna fishing and- They him, know their stuff. Yeah, like Jeremy and his buddies- And, and Jesse. And Jesse, his wife, they know what they're doing. And- It was fun. <laughs> and we caught a lot of fish and we learned a lot of stuff too because they have their system wired. They've been doing it for so long. They know exactly where they need to go. They know exactly which lines need to go in which order and all this stuff. So it was really cool for us to learn because- All, all their gear is set up properly and just, yeah, and just the way everyone works together to get the lines in and stuff like that was really cool. And it's very different than fishing on a sailboat because when you're sailing, you're sailing and fishing is kind of second priority. But here, this was like full on fishing. That's what we came to do. How did it start? So we woke up really, 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 really early. We like, woke up at like like 1 or 1.30. We went to bed early, woke up at like 1.30 a.m. And we drove like an hour to get to their house and their boat's in their backyard. So we went straight from there. Hey, good morning, Roosevelt. This is the Sabiki. We are eastbound requesting an opening, please. I am right here in your sight. <laughs> That's alright, open it for us. We'll take our chances if we get stuck in between. That's alright. Is there any way you can do it for us this one time? <laughs> She's pretending like she didn't hear that. Just as it started getting light out, we got to this spot where the tuna were, and it was on. They're using the <laughs> radar to spot birds, and big flocks of birds show up, and then you go to that location, and then we were chunking or trolling through the area. Yeah, mostly trolling first, and then if the tuna are sticking around, kind of, then we would start chunking. And that's something we've never done because, as you have seen, we've never really even turned on our radar. So they're using this radar to look for birds, which is crazy. It's a nice radar. You need a nice radar to be able to do that. Like, you've got to be able to see a few miles out at least. Finally see a flock of birds on the radar. We head straight towards them. On the way there, like, we started, like, prepping, like, some uh, ballyhoo and some baits on, on the lures we were using. But as soon as we got there, we saw how it was done. We started dropping lines in the water. And Sierra and I are just kind of sitting back, but, like, you know, just kind of doing what people are telling us to do and trying to learn the system. Jeremy, that shot got look far enough for you? The first couple times we went through the birds, we were kind of just watching and observing and doing what people told us to do. But after like maybe the second go around or the third flock of birds that we were getting to, we were kind of in line. We each had our little setup that we were in charge of and it kind of went super smooth. So as soon as we got to the spot within like 30 seconds, all seven lines were like in the water, ready to go. Oh, he's fucking with me. <laughs> <laughs> nice All right. That rod has a lot of leverage on the angler. Yeah. Just keep that pressure. He starts coming at you. you just All right. Nice job. Good job. Nice. nice. Perfect hook. Okay. All right, yeah. Everyone had their job on each one or two lines. There were six of us on the boat total. Yeah, like Sierra said, within 30 seconds, we were bam, trolling, seven lines. 
out on the outriggers and then the long one out the back. And we were catching fish, we were catching tuna, we, you guys caught some big mahi-mahi, you and Jesse. Every once in a while when we got to a flock of birds, they'd stick around a little bit longer and that's when we'd start chunking. Chunking is when you have like a big pile of like cut up fish. I think they were probably we were just- using Bonita. Bonita or something and they're just big chunks of them, like that big. Pull all the trolling rigs in and you stop the boat and you just start throwing these chunks of fish off the boat and hope in hopes that the tuna will come up and try to eat them. And then eventually you put one chunk on a hook and you'll just kind of let the hook go with that chunk on it and try to let it blend in with all the other chunks that are around and hopefully hook up on a tuna while they're just kind of going crazy on all these chunks floating around in, in the ocean. <laughs> Not gone. Not gone? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, was that was, I think, Jesse's favorite way to fish. She, she's a chunking queen. <laughs> so while we were chunking, especially when you saw the tuna hitting the surface of the water, Jeremy had some spinning rods on board with like big popping lures, and then there was also some jigs for jigging, I guess you would call them. Like lures for jigging, you drop it down and you jig you know, back up. But anyway, I was having a blast with this big popping lure, like that big, and I was chucking this with a spinner rod, chucking this big popping lure and just like, and he caught really one. yank it. And I caught a freaking tuna on this popping lure. It was, it was the, probably the most exciting fishing I've ever done. He got bit in half. No, we didn't. And I think I caught two actually in total throughout the day on that popping lure, which is just, just so much fun. Yeah, so I think two people deserve rewards on that trip. You, that was pretty dang impressive. And Jesse, she is an amazing gaffer woman. <laughs> she yeah. can gaff a fish like nobody's like, business. They got it down. And Jeremy, the captain, for all freaking uh, putting us on the fish, yeah. knowing what they're doing, keeping all the gear in order, and everyone else who was on the boat knowing what they were doing. Well, when it comes, you're going to drop the rod on that swivel. Good job, good girl job, power over there. Everyone had great attitudes too. That makes a fishing trip. Like when everyone's super happy and having fun. And yeah, that was a blast. So everyone was super cool. We just had such a fun time with those guys. It was definitely the most fish we've ever caught on one fishing trip by far. So what did we catch? I think we caught our limit on blackfin tuna for the six of us. Jeremy caught a yellowfin and we caught two dolphin. That was another thing. It was so calm. It was like glassy. There was some like little rain in the background, but besides that, like it, it the weather noticed. was perfect. It was glassy. So we were just having so much fun all day that we kind of lost track of time and um, it started to get kind of late. So we cruised back later in the afternoon and we got back to the dock just after dark, I think. So the next day we got back to his house and we spent the entire day filleting fish. It literally took us all day long. A few inches up from the tail. And go down the ladder line. You'll feel the tip of the knife hit the bone, hit the spine the whole way. Then come from the back because you got that hole and don't cut your hand off. Just kind of feel up the uh, spine there. Beautiful. Jeez. And then you get that. And then just, see I'm bending the knife? Yeah. And coming underneath it. Everyone got their their portion of fish. They gave us a ton because they had some from other fishing trips and stuff. So we had a ton of fish to bring back to Sierra's family's house so we could share with all of them and throw some. And yeah, we had some for the next few weeks. We had some delicious tuna. It was amazing. So thank you so much, Jeremy and Jesse, for letting us come with you. And thank you all so much for watching. I hope you learned a tip or two from this experience. And if you guys are ever thinking about taking kiteboard lessons or learning how to do that electric foil that we did the video on, um, contact Jeremy. He That's what he does. So the link will be in the description. He's not only Billy's ex-boss. He's also one of our very, very best friends. So <laughs> good shout out for him right there. So that was an awesome little break from the camper work. 
and we're just about finished and ready to hit the road so stay tuned and just make sure you guys are subscribed and the little bell notification button is clicked thanks so much for watching Thank you.